hi. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, I'm so excited to be making this video. Um, my name is Charity, and welcome to my to my farm, to my homestead. Just a little introduction. Um, like I said, I'm Charity. I live with my husband, Nick. We are both 23 years old, and we just purchased 151 acres of land in Oklahoma. We live in a tiny home. It's about 400 square feet. We live with our cat, Coda. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, she's right there on the steps. Coda and my dog, Skye. We have lived in the city our whole lives and it's been a dream of me and Nick to live on a farm and have a homestead. My dream and my goal, same with him, we want to be self-sustainable and we want to grow our own food and to raise our own meat all organically and we're both beginners and it's been something especially for me that's been just like oh i need to do this and i just wanted to make this channel just as a documentation kind of and just bring you along with us and show you how we start our farm literally from scratch as beginners as 23 year olds <laughs> so this video is kind of just i don't know it's kind of it's probably a mess and i'm sorry but it's more about my garden. I'm a huge, I'm huge into organic gardening. This is my kind of second year gardening. Right now I just have a little container garden that we finally just moved to our backyard space. Um, all of my stuff was at my in-laws house. I had it lined up on the side of their house. I had a few things, have some tomatoes, peppers, all the summery things. We finally got to move it into my garden space. And well, basically, we got all of the materials and we got the wooden post set up on each corner. And then we got two set up in the middle for the gate. Now, of course, of course, you know, we set the two middle ones off of the other two posts. So it was off center and we had to put into more in front of it so then it could be in line. But we got that done. We stretched the fence. I say we, but it was mostly my husband. We stretched the fence and got that set up. Now, this whole process was, it took way longer than it should have. Like things keep happening, kept happening. Like we discovered that the, I don't know what I'm talking about, but the septic, line i don't know the sprinkler that sprays out your poo poo that's chemically treated whatever that sprays it out there's two of them one of them one day i was outside just looking out and the system starts going and it's spraying right in the middle of my garden and i just start crying because i'm like are you kidding me that can't happen how in the world are we gonna fix it we can't move my garden we already have it set so we got it figured out we had to dig up Ugh, everything and redirect it blah 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 it took forever more things kept happening things kept breaking and so this process has been so long but we finally have it done um now all we have to do is just do the t-post around the fence but i got to get my vegetables in the garden and it's surrounded by gate so it's safe this is kind of how we did my garden space all right, here is the almost pretty much done garden. I am very excited. So here's our house right here. Here is the garden so far. Like I said, we just have to put the T-post up. But I am super excited. And it's so funny because like there's only like tiny little containers and then the space is just so huge. So let's take a look. So here is the front gate. Eventually I want to get like an arch over and have some like pretty roses and stuff trellising over. Open the gate and we are inside the garden. And this is what I have so far. I have some peppers. These are bell peppers. These are Italian sweet peppers. I have habanada peppers, which these are so good. And it's like loaded with fruit. There's so much on there. My little lemon tree. 
and I have a little lemon. Pumpkin, it looks awful. It's probably just gonna die. Corn looks awful. Don't think I'm getting any. And then I have some carrots in there, some beets, radish. I'm experimenting with, I just threw in this plant in the ground. We'll see how it does, tomato plants. That's a blackberry or something, I don't know. This side. And over here, I have some more beets, some peppermint, green onions. I, I planted some lettuce seeds in there, so waiting for those to come up. Here's a cherry tomato, looks a little rough, but the cherry tomatoes have been so good. Um, I have dragon tongue bush beans. These look awful. I have no idea what is happening with it. I have one little, I think there's a couple little ones on here. Here's a little one and right here. So, I mean, I'm surprised there's even anything on it. <laughs> it just looks awful. And then I have some basil here and a strawberry plant. And then experimenting again, I have a, um, I think it's watermelon. Over here, I'm trying to prepare a couple of spaces for the fall to do some in-ground. But yeah, this is the space. We got it done. It looks good. And I'm excited to show what I do with it and how we build onto it. Before I end the video, I just wanted to again say thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Sorry if this video was a mess, but that's kind of my life right now. It's honestly just reality of <laughs> where we're at. It's great, it's fun, but it's really stressful and there's a lot going on. There's a lot that goes into starting this homestead and this farm. But we don't know you, but we love you. <laughs> and again, thank you for watching. We hope to see you in the next video.